previously on the David and Joe show. Mummy, are you gonna get a Christmas tree? No. Heidi say cheese. No. Yeah. Heidi, look. No. Heidi, please. No. Did you hear that? No. Welcome to the David and Joe Show! Whee! Like and subscribe! Oh, he's vlogging! The first episode of the Joe and Dave Show. <laughs> uh, it's the David and Joe Show? David and Joe Show. Yeah, yeah, he's not trying to be the most <laughs> involved person. <laughs> the only episode I'm actually in. <laughs> How are you feeling? Also, I've ruined it. I feel fine. I feel calm. I didn't cry in the circle, which is good. I tried to do this whole analogy, right? My whole thing going into it, this is why I'm awful at public speaking. I'm, or any situation, if I'm scripted, fine. If I'm filming it for myself and I can edit it myself, fine. When I have to talk in front of people on the spot, I'm awful. But you're much better than you think you are. I was basically trying to explain like, this is my first theater, my theater debut. And I said, it's like when you get your first car. For me, it was a Peugeot 106. Ford Fiesta, Bertha. But, have you ever driven a car since that car that you preferred? You always loved your first car. Kind of like your first child. But you can't say that, can you? Definitely can't say that. <laughs> you can't. Kind of like your first child. The, the ones after that are kind of like, just yeah. like, they're like accessories to the first this child. This is why I shouldn't talk. <laughs> you never forget your first car. Even though it's probably one of your worst. That's, they may not say that this show's the worst, but it's not. <laughs> but you know what I mean? No, like, it's your first. You, it's your first. You didn't yeah, ask It doesn't matter how better it gets from here on out, you'll still always remember and love your first car more than anything else. Yeah. And that, for me, is the show. Is it like losing your virginity? So you I've lost, your I've lost virginity? my theatre virginity to this show. Yeah. There you go, there's your, there's your thumbnail and title. Be gentle with me. Joe, Joe loses his virginity. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Joe's, finally loses his virginity. Joe loses his virginity story. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss everything about it. Were you nervous about it? Was I it was like... very nervous. I sort of thought, what am I doing? Like, it's. I was on a bit of a, a confidence high from previous show that I was on. Um, Why are we not naming it? I don't it know. Like <laughs> We're debriefing Massey. What are you He's still here. Massey's got three jumpers. <laughs> He's got the shark one. He's got his NASA one. He's got a Star Wars one. And you've got three phrases. Like and subscribe. Ooh, Strictly. Ooh, my girlfriend's called Diane. How often does he so say true. my girlfriend's called Diane? <laughs> but I remember Joe starting the show and it was it was an exciting time. And there was a bit it's, of a there was a bit of flack, wasn't there, for like yeah, early on? Yeah. Tell, I knew about, it would be. tell them about our chat in the stage management office. The third you tell day. us, come and sit down, come and join us. Yeah, look at this. It's comfy. The old boys back together. E like and subscribe <laughs> on the roof. Like on your roof. He's on the roof, <laughs> mom. He's doing his ornithology. Crazy hair. Um, on the first day, we had, we had to have a chat about how you behave in the West End. Well, not really. No. What? Did you give him a dressing down? No, no, no. It's more of like you just sort of being like, look, if you need anything or you, you, you got any troubles, because obviously people were ripping into me, weren't they? So did you? Yeah. But did you get a sense of it? Did you feel like? Because I obviously like being in that kind of theatre Twitter, mm. I kind of, you know, sense that already people are like, oh, wait just to keep pointing. I, you know. I always see that as like, a, okay, right, I want to try and prove you wrong. And I want to okay. say to all y'all out there, and Matty will back me up here, he absolutely did. And if you didn't see him in the show, you've, you've missed out big time because he was class. And honestly, I, would, I wouldn't lie about this stuff. I just wouldn't talk to him. I'd just ignore him if he was rubbish. <laughs> There's others I ignore all the time. Um, yeah, it's nice to speak to you, really. But, um, but... <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not acceptable. Oh. That's stink, and we're it? sat so <gasps> close together. That's a warm room. Smells <laughs> horrible. But yeah, but aside from present. that one fart, he's oh. been amazing from start to finish. From fart to finish. <laughs> from fart to finish. <laughs> what are you going to do, Massey? Because in truth, like me and Massey have always been friends. Uh, and from day one we clicked, in fact. And Massey was very kind to me earlier because I talked to him a lot about how kind of anxious and nervous I got on Kinky Boots. Because uh, that was a hard show for you me. You and Kinky Boots? Yeah. And spoiled my flying tour, and I was in Watson Musical and ITV Superstar. Look me up. Uh, but I talked to Matty, and he was very kind to me, and that, that for me is friend all over. But when Joe came, we kind of all, we wanted to take Joe under our wing a little bit, like, let's make sure Joe feels comfortable and happy. So we went out for a Byron Burger, um, who don't sponsor me, I just genuinely like Byron Burgers, <laughs> hashtag ad. Um, and, um, but, uh, and we've been going ever since, I think. And so, so in truth. Two became three. <laughs> that was four. Four. Three. 
Need some love like you never needed love before. Wanna make love to you, baby? Terrifying. Yeah, so Joe, you'll, you'll be gone and you'll have to cover on real life with that. Then I'm off. Then I'll do, do, be doing something different. Now, our paths cross in the future more often than not. What? Makes sense. <laughs> It's like your first car, isn't it, Joe? It's, yeah, it's, it's, yes, that's what, I, that's what I was saying. What was your first car? Ford KA. Ugh. KA. In Massey's case, then it wouldn't work. <laughs> doesn't work. Doesn't work. If, you, if, you, if your first car was a Ford KA, it's a different <laughs> analogy. Then it's like your second car. It's like, you know your second car, the one you get after a Ford KA, that's the one you never forget. Because then you get a proper car. It's like you've been driving like a, a, like a buggy about for a year, and then you get like a, a car. roller skate around. <laughs> driving a roller skate around. And then suddenly you get this car, it's got like a radio, and like the windows come down automatically, and you think, that's the car. What was your first car called? Um, we called it Dorothy, I think. Mine was Bertha, that's quite similar now. That was Polly. It was Polly, the Polly Rose. the Peugeot. There's obviously a bit of a link there. We've all gone for sort of like slightly old women's names. Obviously, they were very manly cars. Yeah. Joe, at the minute, it looks like you're like my confidence or my the angel or devil on my shoulder. Don't listen to the little angry man. And then he's on the other side. My conscience is always Irish. Don't listen to him. Thanks, man. <laughs> I'm gonna go and do payroll. Yeah. That's it. Uh, so here we are. I've just come up. We're um, we're about to finish the uh, the last show for for five of our great castmates. Um, five who uh, there's a few original cast in there and some of the new guys and um, and <laughs> so um, uh, what am I talking about? Uh, so yeah, so so we're yeah so towards the end of the show, and I've just been I've just been walking up after after doing getting ready for the last scene, and last shows are last shows are funny things, um, because they they they're really sad, they're always sad, um, but mostly it, it, you kind of walk around kind of beaming because it, it kind of just reminds you how much you you love the show, love one another, love what they do in the show, um, which is easy to forget in the kind of eight shows a week, a million shows a year here, you're kind of going through them, taking it for, fully for granted and getting irritated by little things, this, that and the other. And getting, it's just the background sound, as it is now, you know. Uh, and here's Charlie singing, Take It From An Old Man, beautifully. Uh, and one day it'll be his last day and I'll, stand, I'll sit here listening for, to it for the very last time. Um, which is incredibly sad, but so joyful at the same time because you appreciate it fully. Um, everything is given to the show on stage and off, you know. And that's the case now for the five that are leaving, so though I'm kind of sad, I can't really wipe the smile off my face because listening to Joe and Laura then just singing I Love You Like a Table for the last time together, uh, or even separately, um, was a beautiful thing. Reminds you how far they've come, how they've done. I remember Laura in her very first rehearsal, she was there right at the very beginning. I remember Joe coming in, being nervous, wondering if he could do it, and and then smashing it, the pair of them, uh, as everyone else does. Charlotte, Mike, Kelly, um, have been fantastic. And uh, and they do kind of feel like a celebration, and fortunately tonight we've got an audience that has just driven us through. It's been amazing. Um, Gotta go. But is she well organized? She is messy. Oh. <laughs> but she's kind. 
Has she got lots of friends? Oh, sometimes? Oh. Into a quiche? Oh, but is she kicking around now? I'd love to see her. Oh. Oh. Well, that's nice, I guess. Oh, well, I guess she did ask for this. Oh. <laughs> no.